Das Parabara. The Sparabara were the most common type of infantry found in the Achaemenid armies. They were brought up from the common ranks of Persian society, such as farmers, hunters and fishermen. Like most armies of the time, they were not a standing force, called to service by Persian officials in the spring and ending their military duties by the end of autumn returning to the Shan Shah's armies in the next spring, and so forth. The Sparavara were above their eastern counterparts due to the type of training that the Persian youth overtook. Taking their education by the age of seven, they would learn the quintessential aspects that the Persians held sacred, such as basic combat, archery, horse riding, and swimming. When they reached 20, their education was finished, being ready to be deployed in the Achaemenid armies. Upon their years of training, the Persian officers responsible to mount the Sparbara regiments would pick those that showed better performance basic combat aspect, arming them with a six-foot spear, a large wicker shield and quilted linen corslets for their bodies. The role of the Sparabara in the Achaemenid armies was to create a wall of shields and spears to protect the archers that would be behind them, hailing volley after volley to the enemy. When the first stage of the battle ended and the enemy infantry came into contact, the Sparabara were the first sent to fight the enemy. If outnumbered or engaged against an heavier opponent, the Sparabara would retreat to safer lines of the Achaemenid army. That was due to their low payment and their desire to return to their families and jobs. The Sparabara were one of the four essential parts for the success of the Achaemenid empire. However, with the passing of the centuries, the Persian military stagnated letting the Sparabara to remain mostly the same throughout their existence. And by the time of Darius III, they couldn't contend against the better equipped Macedonian infantry, marking Alexander the Great's conquest of the Achaemenid Empire.